What's up guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to control a DC motor using Raspberry Pi microcomputer. Now I'm going to use the circuit diagram to control the DC motor. And as we can see I'm using an MPN transistor because the motor typically draws more current than the GPIO pin can provide. Oh, uh, and as for its connection, the emitter is going to the ground the collector to the junction of the diode and the motor and the base is connected to the to the, to the resistor as for the diode I'm using a diode because the motor or any device which produces a magnetic field needs a diode because this would prevent voltage spikes which occurs when the motor is switched off as the magnetic field collapses also using a resistor to limit the current passing in to the base. Now we're going to need three connections to the Raspberry Pi. One for the 5 volt, one for the ground, and one for the GPIO output pin. Now to turn the motor on, all we have to do is set the GPIO pin high. And to turn it off, we'll just set it to low. But what if we want something in between? In this case, we'll have to use pulse width modulation. By changing the duty cycle, we can manipulate the speed of the motor, either increasing it or decreasing it. Now it's time to build up the circuit. We're going to start with the transistor. I'm using an MPN transistor, and you can identify its legs. Uh, by this small segment coming out from the side. The leg that is next to the small segment is the emitter. The one in the middle will be the base and the other one will be the collector. I'm going to place that on the breadboard. And as we saw in the circuit diagram, the emitter would be going to the ground, which is the pin number six on the or the Raspberry Pi. As for the as for the base, will be connected to resist to the resistors. Now I don't have a one kilo ohm resistor, but I have two five sixty ohms resistors, and I'm going to place two of them in series and get an equivalent of one kilo ohm. going to place the base on one side of the resistors and the other side would go to pin number seven uh, I'm sorry the GBIO pin and uh, which is the pin number seven because I'm using the output number four GBIO output And now it's time to hook up the diode. The big portion of the diode would be the positive side. And uh, as we saw, the collector is connected in junction with the positive side of the diode and the DC motor get inside here you go uh, over here and we'll take one of the DC motor wires place it on the side and the other side going to connect with the negative side of the diode and we still need one more connection which is the 5 volt and it's in junction with the diode and the DC motor and it's the, f the first pin on the, on, on the GBIO pins so there we go 
completed the circuit and now we'll start the code as for the code I'm using a Python language program to control the motor speed by using the pulse width modulation and if we take a look at the wire loop we'll see that the duty cycle is increasing which speed up the motor then and then it's decreasing which slow down the motor and uh, the loop will repeat itself as it's in the while loop to run a python program we'll need to write the code on the leaf pad or the text editor now we can open the leaf pad from the manual bar at the accessories after writing the code on the leaf pad we're going to have to save it with the extension uh, first we're going to have to name the file of course but with the extension of py as in python after that we're going to set this destination of the file at home slash py and then we'll save it and now to run the program we'll use the lx terminal and we'll write sudo python and the file name with the, with the extension and, and we'll press enter so the program would be executed and now after we have done coding we'll see how the pulse width modulation would work now start the motor as we can see it's speeding up and slowing down So I think that's it about the DC motor.